Hello Internet and welcome back to another adventure of Mr. Jammy Bastard, the luckiest son of a bitch who's ever walked the Mojave Wasteland. That is a nice bit of looted power armor you are wearing there, sir. The yes, it was. Okay, in our last episode, what we were doing was simply helping along the story on the NCR side. The next big event to take place in the story is the NCR president, President Kimball, actually visiting Hoover Dam. But what we're going to do first, we are going to help around Camp Forlorn Hope because we went to Bitter Springs last episode, which is all the way up there. We help them out as much as they can. What we're doing is going around the other NCR camps, hoping to uh, um, get troop support. Let's see, where's the camp's commanding officer? Major hey. Platley. Major. I'm glad to see you here. We could definitely use your help. What do you need help with? I've got the Legion at Nelson breathing down my neck and not enough men or supplies to get this camp into fighting shape so we can strike back. I need someone to talk to a few of the officers and help them resolve some of the problems around here. If I can get this place in order, then I can focus our efforts on taking back Nelson from the Legion. And the more that gets done around here, the more resources I'll be able to put into assaulting Nelson. I could do that for you. <laughs> Good. Let's not waste time then. Our biggest problems right now are supplies and troops, and the Legion is draining us both. Quartermaster Mays has been complaining to me non-stop about the lack of supplies. But unfortunately, we aren't getting a resupply anytime soon. I want you to speak with him and see if there's anything you can do for him. Okay. Storing hope. Wait, quartermaster. Where would the quartermaster be? Actually, talk to Lieutenant Hayes very quickly in the first recon. Talked about. Corporal Betsy? Our move for the king. What can I do for you? Tell me about first recon. We're the finest sniper outfit in the whole NCR. If you need a bullet put into a target's eye from 800 yards away, you call us. Some of my team aren't without their share of scars, though, like Betsy and Sterling. What's wrong with Betsy? Cook Cook, one of the fiends, ambushed her and ten of spades. They both managed to escape, but not before Cook Cook raped her. Betsy shrugged it off like it was nothing, but her behavior keeps getting worse. Always making passes at every woman who wanders by. It's inappropriate for anyone at first recon to behave that way. I could discipline her, but I'd rather she get medical help. I could talk to Betsy about getting medical help for her trauma, if you want. I'd appreciate it. As her CO, I could order her to get help, but I'd have her agree with the idea. I know about Sterling, he was in the, uh, Rangers. Carry on. Alright, okay. Sterling used to be in the Rangers. Alright, ah, uh, Quartermaster's tent. Quartermaster Mays. Nice to see a friendly face around here. We don't get many visitors of your esteem. Something I can do for you? Major Palatley sent me to help you out. So, the Major has you running errands for him. Well, we're short on personnel as well as supplies, so we'll take all the help we can get. What can I do to help your supply problem? The Major let me send out some troops to gather supplies, but unfortunately they never returned. I'm guessing they ran into some trouble on the way. You can help by finding the troops and assisting them in bringing back any supplies they found. Any idea why you should start looking? I sent them to Helios 1 to see if they had any supplies they could spare. They gotta be somewhere between here and there. I'd try searching the main road or checking with the men of Helios 1 to see if they know anything. We really need those supplies. So don't take your sweet time finding them. Right, okay. Helios 1 it is. Talk to the lieutenant on guard. Right, 
You turned it. What is it? I wanted to check on the troopers sent from Camp Forlorn Hope. Yeah, they were here a while ago. Gave them all I could, which wasn't much. But as many problems as we're having here, I know they've got it worse. I've seen soldiers get assigned there. It's like they got told they were going to die. I wouldn't wish it on anybody. If you're trying to track them down, we put a GPS marker in the supply crate. You can track it with your Pip-Boy. Good luck. Later. Quickly save. See the towers glowing. Now this is another spot where um, a death squad should materialize. There they are. <laughs> the way they landed. Dropping frame rate again, let's save. To me, that's always a warning sign, dropping the frame rate. Oh yeah, we got that. I don't see what this bad boy can do. Hmm. Looks like we're going into Cazador country with the way they're uh, sporadically moving about. There he is. Let's say, where's Eddie? Dead NCR troopers and some supply crates. All right. Now I know when we interact with his chest, the Legion are going to pop out. Um...
cowboy repeater. Oh yeah, that's a point because um, we sort of been neglecting our cowboy repeater. We muddied it up a little bit and just threw it in the um, wardrobe and just forgot about it. Quartermaster. If you're looking for supplies, I'll make this easy for you. There aren't any. But something tells me you're not here for that. I found the supplies you were looking for. I take it my men weren't dead. It's a high price to pay, but these supplies will save a few lives here. Thanks for finding these. You should check in with the Major. I want to know about this. Major. We're kind of busy around here for social calls, so if you're not here to help out, just stay out of my way. I helped Quartermaster Mays out get the supplies. I heard. The extra supplies will help for a short time, but that only solves one of our problems. With all the Legion raids lately, we're running low on troops that can still fight. Some are injured, but even more are dead. I want you to check in with Dr. Richards and see if he needs any help getting our troops back on the front line. Richards. He's in the medical tent. Now, the thing about Dr. Richards is, uh, he's a bit of a man-eater. And, uh, if you've got the confirmed bachelor perk, like I have, he, uh, is a bit rapey. I'm always a sucker for a pretty face. What can I do for you, my fine dear? Major Palatley said you might need some help. With business booming like it is, and considering I'm the only person with medical experience in the camp, I could perhaps use a hand. Do you have any medical experience? Yes, I have some medical experience. Excellent. As you can see, we have a lot of injured troopers here, and I haven't had time to look at all of them yet. Since you have some medical experience, I'd like you to examine them and see what you can do to treat them. What is my medical skill? Medicine is at 85. This man appears to have suffered a close-range blast trauma. His upper torso is covered in cuts and is severely burnt. Improper medical treatment will kill him. Medicine 75 or higher. You should have tweezers, medics, and a super sim pack. Um, treat your wounds with medicine. You carefully clean the wounds and apply antibiotics before grafting extra skin over the wounds. The patient will make a complete recovery. This man's leg is seriously injured. It may require amputation to save him. Medicine 50 or higher. Perform the operation with medicine. Upon further examination, after cleaning the leg, you realise it cannot be saved. You carefully begin to amputate the limb. During surgery, you notice the man's hand is gangrenous. You amputate that as well, saving his life. What about this one? This man appears to be suffering from multiple machete wounds. Oh, uh, treatment medicine. You carefully clean the wounds and apply antibiotics before stitching the wounds closed. The patient will recover completely in time. Ah. Dr. Richards. I think it just got a little bit hotter in here. <laughs> Is there something I can do for you? I finished looking over your patients. Excellent job. Where'd you learn to do all that? I don't think I could have done much better myself. Very impressive. As for the men, they'll recover soon and be back on the front lines in no time. Ha, huh, the circle of life. I'll send word to Major Palatley about your work here. Once again, you have my sincerest thanks. Before we turn to the Major... Request... 
I don't hurt anymore. Here are our top stories. Corporal, what a pointless trip. Here I thought I'd get a shot at that junkie bastard. Have you, did you see any serious combat at uh, McCarran? Not unless you count the fiends as serious. Gorobetz keeps us inside the fence most of the time. Doesn't matter to me. I just shoot bad guys. Sooner or later, they'll move us out to the dam, though. That's when the shit gets nasty. Fiends aren't enough of a challenge for you? Legion fights to win, and they're smart. Hell of a lot smarter than these crazy fiends. But I don't feel bad about shooting Legion boys. Fiends, on the other hand, sometimes I get pangs of conscience. Not often, but sometimes. Let's turn down that radio. There, that's better. First I've heard about conscience in a while. Some cute little junkie bitch, so fucked up she doesn't even know that she's the bad guy. And I've got a headshot her. Makes me think. Might just be sex, though. I see some cute little number, and I'd rather get in her pants. So maybe I'm a stone-cold bitch after all. You should get medical help for your trauma. The lieutenant's been talking to you, hasn't he? Look, I don't need a head doctor. I'm first recon, damn it! You don't see the others crying about every little bruise and scrape, do you? Medical tra medical or speech? Well, let's do medic medicine. Uh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, medicine. Metal trauma can slow you down or distract you, but it's treatable, just like any bullet wound. Just another injury to take care of, huh? Well, when you put it that way. All right. You can tell the lieutenant I finally caved. There's a Dr. Usanagi who's supposed to be good at this sort of thing. Major. Back already? What do you need? I finished helping Dr. Richards. Dr. Richards said you did a good job in there. That's mighty high praise coming from him. With the help you've given us, we're doing a little bit better, but we still have the Legion forces at Nelson to deal with. If we can retake Nelson, that will be a huge help to our efforts in this area and give us an advantage at Hoover Dam. Do you have the troops to retake Nelson? Not really, but we don't have much choice. If you help out more around camp, I could spare some additional men for the battle. Is there any intel on the Legion forces at Nelson? The Legion forces have been reinforced and are looking pretty strong. It's going to be a tough fight. I need some time to prepare. Come back when you're ready. Evening. What can I do for you? I convinced Corporal Betsy to get help from Dr. Usanagi. I wish someone with your medical training had come along sooner. I think she'll actually stick with the treatment because of what she said. I was afraid that Betsy wouldn't go for long-term treatment because she didn't want to look bad in front of the rest of the squad. You settled that. Do me a favor and let Usanagi know Corporal Betsy is coming. I'd like to make sure the medical clinic has time for her. Carry on. Uh, we'll retake Nelson first. Back already? What do you need? I want to talk about the attack on Nelson. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. Excellent. Killing the Legion commanders and Nelson will severely cripple the Legion forces and allow us to take back the city. Meet up with Sergeant Cooper just outside Nelson. He will assist you in reclaiming Nelson. Patrolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for it.
Smart move for the kings to back down. They didn't know who they were messing with. Where am I going? So said it would go down into the into the minefield. The abandoned, yeah, the abandoned brothers' hood of steel bunker is over there. Three? That's it? We're gonna tear them apart, Sergeant. I've heard of you. Glad to have you on our side. Let's do this. We don't have many troops, so we can only attack from one direction. Where should we focus the attack? No, because if we approach from the north, it means traversing the minefield. So, if we come from the east, over the ridge... Our main target is the Legion leader at Nelson. Intel has the commander as one Dead Sea. I've uploaded his last known location to your pit boy Let's move out! Eat this. Another weapon. Brush gun. Hey, leveled up. Okay. Let's bring you a pair up to a solid 100. Uh, barter up to 85. Let's bring uh, explosives up to 85. And let's see. Um, melee weapons up to. Uh, no. Uh, Energy weapons up to ninety-five. Okay. Take all daylight. Look at chemist. Don't get eaten. Solar powered, you gain an additional two points of strength when in direct sunlight. Ooh, that'll come in handy. Shit, we lost one. No, I didn't want the bloody whole armor. Squad, sound off. We lost one.
I know it's technically stealing, but... need to be anything worth taking. No. I restore a bottle of cancer. I was not looking for the search criteria. No, no star bottle capsule, nothing. Clear.
Major. Back already? What do you need? Nelson has fallen. The initial reports have come back already. Excellent work. This will buy us a lot of breathing room to get back on our feet here. Now we can actually try to strengthen our forces along the river and prepare for the upcoming battle at Hoover Dam. You have my thanks. We owe you a lot. Captain Giles of Bitter Springs needs reinforcements. Can you spare any? You handled yourself well against the Legion, and that took some of the pressure off of us. I'll send a couple troops out there right now. Okay. We won't go quietly. Tech Sergeant the Reyes. Now she it. has another quest for us. Hey, you're not one of the troopers. Got a second? I have work I need done, and nobody here at the camp has the time or inclination to help me out. What do you do here, exactly? I handle communications for Camp Forlorn Hope, compiling reports I've received from the Rangers at Camp Golf as well as the Brass at McCarran. Unofficially, I'm also in charge of radio security. No one else seems to take it as seriously as I do. What do you need help with? I have the delightful task of tabulating stockpiles, kill ratios, mission success rates, radiation deaths, and other truly fascinating numbers. I've come across numerous inconsistencies between our numbers and our reports, especially with regards to intercepting hostiles. I'm wondering if our radio security codes have been compromised. I need someone to deliver security code upgrades to each of the ranger stations. You think the NCO would be very concerned about this sort of thing? I've been trying to get someone to authorize this update, or at the least get field clearance to leave the camp and do this myself. But nobody takes me seriously. They just think I'm an incompetent desk jockey trying to glamorize the importance of my job. What makes you think you can trust me with security codes? The security codes are unique to the radios at each ranger station. They're useless anywhere else. Okay, I'll help. What do you need me to do? This holotape contains the updated security codes for the ranger stations. Show it to the comm officers there. Once the new codes are in use, anyone still using the old codes will just hear static if they're listening in on our frequencies. Okay. Bye. Ranger Sandler. Oh, I think this is the one with um, Chief Handler. Come on, computer, catch up. What are you doing? level has increased a slider. Right. Go to the medical clinic. Okay, that's the point. I should have gone to um, the Nashes and raided their um, their fridge some more. Oh, I'll do that now. Load Novak back up again. Right, go to the Nashes, raid their fridge one last time. How many Pion men let us do we have? Four. So four Brahmin steaks. Oh, there's that competent wasteland doctor down there. Ada. What can I do for you? I need medical supplies. 
Yeah, and I need sterile medical supplies. But let's see what I have with me. Only three brown steaks. All the way up to a hundred. Salo Mahadra. Thanks. Alright, so it's just three pignon nuts we need. Well, three steaks. Howdy. Alright. Now to the medical center. Dr. Usnagi. You're back. Do you need medical attention? Corporal Betsy from First Week Recon will be coming to you for mental treatment. Mental trauma can be just as debilitating as physical injuries. Fortunately, I'm well qualified in such treatment. I'll make time in my schedule. Take care. Another quest is complete. Okay, camp. No, bitter springs. Captain. Oh, I've heard of you. What do you want? Are things going better at the camp now? Thanks to your help, I think Bitter Springs has a real shot at surviving. I can't offer much of a reward, but know that the NCR is very grateful. You know what? I don't need any reward. Just keep these people fed and healthy. That's very generous of you. I appreciate it. Ourselves a little ranger family reunion now. Time's right for a feud. Excuse me, come officer. If you're here to sell something, we don't want any. Sergeant Ray sent me here. I've got a security update for your radio. No problem. Hey, do me a favor when you get back to Ray's and tell her that we don't need any more damn ammo. Wouldn't mind more water though. Why don't you use your radio to fix the supply situation? You think I haven't tried? Every time I do, Camp Golf acknowledges the situation. And soon after that, more ammo. How are your water supplies right now? We're not gonna die of thirst anytime soon, but I'd rather have too much than not enough. Well, what are you doing out here? This is the frontier of NCR territory, and we're the first line of defense. You won't find much in the way of civilization east of here. South of here is Camp Guardian, but they've been having radio trouble, so they've been silent for a while now. Careful out there. 
Right, okay, that's one ranger station. Travel to Jacob's Town. It's on the other side of the sodding map. Alright, okay. Let's make our way eastward. They're just man tits. the doors. There's the comm tower. Boone, you stung. Yeah, he is. Come on, Boone, fight it. Then he should be alright. He's a machine. Come on, Boone, fight it. Fight it, Boone. Come on. Don't want to give him a stim pack because that will just accelerate the poison. Okay, let's be on our way. Come towers that way. Actually, save. Let's give him a stim pack. Ceiling. Remnants bunker. Now, that's the enclave remnants of the Navarro um, detachment. But that's a quest for another companion. I'm just going around helping the NCR so that uh, Boone will um, open up to me a bit more. Because out of all of the companion quests, I think Boone is... Oh, God, he's one of the most difficult ones. Because he's so closed, he won't open up to you. Oh, shit, what was that? I thought the game crashed again for a minute. That's the ranger chief. No run-ins with the great cons, I hope. They've been more restless than usual. What are you doing out here? Keeping watch on the great cons, mostly. They usually stick around Red Rock Canyon, but at least one large group left recently. We called it in, but haven't heard anything about any great con incidents. Whatever they're doing, they're keeping a low profile. Be careful out there. Station Foxtrot. The ranger we need to speak to is. Ah. Oh, this one's a bit jittery because she owes money to the Omeritas, I think. No, I keep to myself. You're here for the money. I told the Omeritas I was good for it. I just need more time. I brought updated radio security codes from Camp Forlorn Hope. Oh, uh, well, yeah, I can do that. Um, thanks. What happened between you and the Omertas? 
I talked to the cashier at Gamora into forwarding me some chips. I was convinced I was due for a hot streak. It uh, didn't go so well. The Omertas were nice and said they'd give me some time to pay them back. They also said if they had to talk to me about my debt again, they wouldn't be nice the next time. I thought NCR Rangers were supposed to be tough and fearless. I don't want to talk about it. If you don't tell me, someone else will. I'd rather hear your version. We were on patrol near the dam when a Legion raiding party jumped us. Didn't even have time to radio it in. I was hit in the head with a machete and knocked out. Didn't kill me, though some nights I wish it had. When I woke up, my nerve was gone. The rest of my squad was crucified, butchered, mutilated. I don't know how they missed me. Maybe they didn't. Maybe they knew they'd broken me. I gambled and drank a lot after that. Got into trouble. But the Rangers gave me a second chance instead of kicking me out. So here I am. You were too tough to kill, and you'll get payback on the Legion someday. Maybe. But thanks for saying it anyway. What do you do here? I operate the radio and call it in if we see any great cons moving out in large groups from Red Rock Canyon. Watch out for great cons. Right, what's the next station on the list? Major Station Alpha. Okay, go to Boulder City. Oh, we can duck down in the ruins. I'm a ghost here to haunt you. Woo! Let's see if Boone's willing to talk a little bit more about his wife. What is it? Apparently not. I have some questions I wanted to ask you. Okay. Huh. Yeah, does the name Benny mean anything to you? No. It doesn't. I have a different question. Okay. Let's talk about something else. Alright. Uh, tell me about yourself. If you want. It's not really my thing. Tell me about your wife. Carla's dead. That's all you need to know. Because there are specific missions where Boone will open up to me. I know two of them, but I don't know what the third one is. Be pretty careful if you still have seven. Uh, I'll eat one. Right, Ranger Station Alpha. Let's go. The fuck? Look at those things. Oh, 
player. No, these things look like the old Mario Lurk Kings from uh, Fallout 3. Ah. Follow the comm tower. Oh, might be some um, star bottle caps around here. What a wild piss up this must have been before the world ended. Looks like we booted the Legion out of Nelson. About damn time. Come off, sir. This post isn't some place a civilian ought to be. Sergeant Razor at Camp Forlorn Hope sent me with a security update for your radio. All right. She radioed ahead and mentioned that somebody was coming by. Ah, that she'd send a civilian instead of a trooper, though. Anything going on around here? Just the usual. Legion scouts try to slip across the river a couple of times a week. But they always end up floating down river with holes in their heads. So, tell me about this camp. Ranger Station Alpha. Ranger Lineholm is in command here. Don't get killed out there. Smart move for the kings to back down. Yeah, I didn't know who they were dealing with. Okay, next. Camp Forlorn Hope. They didn't. Okay, back to Camp Forlorn Hope. Alright, let's go bloke fly hunting again. Where the bodies are buried, they're all hippledy deep, hippledy. Deep. Right, okay. Let's find that ranger station. Station Delta. Ah, the comm officer. I'm not supposed to let civilians just walk around this place. There better be a good reason for you being here. I've brought radio security code updates from Sergeant Reyes at Camp Forlorn Help. Very well. You can tell Reyes that this station is secure. So, what do you do here? I'm in charge of the radio, hence the title comm officer. I'd much rather be out on patrol, since nothing much happens around here. 
Okay. Next station on the list. Ranger Station Charlie. Run from me. Shit. Shit, 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 shit! Maddox! Everybody all right? Because all that gunfire was I'm like, where the fuck is that coming from? Hey, got a star bottle cap, finally. Always save after you get a star bottle cap. Okay, what's my... Ah! What the fuck? Audio log one, audio log two. Throw the raiders off. No casualties. In the meantime, patrol's back. They're late. I hope they got a good excuse. What took... This is a message to the NCR from the Legion. We are coming for you. Run, and we will catch you. Hide, and we will find you. No matter what you do, you are all going to die. We took one of the women alive. I'll sit tight. Let's see if I can jump this. Hey. I've got your back. Put this 
back. Alright. Stop. Hmm. How do we get up that ridge then? It's a sheer cliff. Thanks, Boone. Looks like we booted the Legion out of Nelson. About damn time. Okay, there's the comm officer. Holy hell, there's a lot of ghouls here. Gotta wonder what the hell a civilian is doing here. I have updated radio security codes from Camp Forlorn Hope. What, again? Didn't I just change those damn things? Alright, fine. Show me the new codes. So, what's Ranger Station Echo about? Ranger Military Outpost. We're keeping an eye on the Legion activities south of here at Cottonwood Cove. Nothing going on down there at the moment. Just the usual slave trafficking. Poor bastards. The NCR is letting the Legion get away with slavery? Believe me, I would love orders to take Cottonwood Cove apart and kick the Legion back across the river. But the brass at McCarran doesn't want us to waste resources on something they consider a minor target. So we just get to watch. Does Legion know you're watching them from here? Undoubtedly. Rangers are tough nuts to crack, though, and any force small enough to launch a surprise attack isn't going back in one piece. On the other hand, if the Legion goes for a full-scale attack, we'll see them coming, fall back, and wait for reinforcements. So we know what they'll do, and they know what we'll do, so we just sit around and keep an eye on each other. Yeah. Right, okay. Evening. Dr. Camp Forlorn Hope. Check, Sergeant. Welcome back. Every station except Charlie has been given new security codes. Charlie was wiped out by the Legion. The station's been silent for quite some time now. I guess this confirms what we've all feared. Thanks for letting me know. I'll switch over all radio broadcasts to the new encrypted channels. This ought to help us stay a step ahead of any spies. Before you go, I've got another job available. What is it? We've received some disturbing reports from some of the Ranger stations. Heavy casualties at Alpha, super mutant legionaries at Delta. The weirdest one has to be the Great Khans and their trained death claws at Foxtrot. These reports can't be accurate, can they? I know you've already been out there, but could you do me a solid and confirm these reports with the Rangers who sent them in? I'll investigate and let you know what I find out about these odd reports. Thank you, and good luck. Nelson's back in our hands. Hope we can defend it this time. Okay. 
Oh, so the actual station itself is in a bunker. Huh, interesting. Nice job out there. Why are you still here? I should, no, I'm talking to the wrong flipping ranger. Oh, I was supposed to talk to the rangers in charge. No sudden moves and you and I will do all right. What do you want? You filed a report which said Super Legion Super Mutants wiped out an NCR patrol? No, I didn't. You might hear that kind of nonsense from a drunk trooper on the strip, but not from me. The Legion doesn't have super mutants. That patrol was wiped out by its own incompetence. A couple of the troopers were fooling around with a grenade when it went off. See you around. Okay. But these reports aren't right. Okay. Find the ranger officer. Hello. Excuse me, Ranger. This is a military outpost. Why are you here? Sergeant Ray sent me. She's curious about the high casualties at this station. High casualties? We've had one broken ankle, but nobody at this post has died. Ray's information says otherwise. Any injury, illness, or death gets radioed to Ranger HQ at Camp Golf. Chief Hanlon and his aides compile the reports and assign reinforcements as needed. And they're not needed here. How could Ray's have been wrong? There are other ranger posts around. Ray's might have mixed up the report. So long. Okay, where's the next one? All the way over there. Hello. Yeah? I need to confirm your report about Great Khans with trained death calls? You must be mistaken. I haven't filed any report like that. Trained death claws? I would have remembered that. If someone is saying I filed that report, that's a load of crap. I won't have my name attached to a clerical error. Ugh, Lenk told me her story. Yeah, it's a damn shame. There was a lot of talk about expelling her from the Rangers, especially once the gambling and drinking started. Being posted here is her second and last chance, and so far, I'm not impressed. Link's jumpy all the time, and the others are sick of it. Be careful out there. Okay. Let's see if we can get anywhere to put our heads down. Doesn't look like it. Okay, Jacobstown it is. Don't need all that Blanco mac and cheese.
go back to Camp Forlorn Hope. Sergeant. Welcome back. The Rangers version of the reports they said to Camp Golf don't match what you received. I knew it. Every one of the false reports was signed off by Chief Hanlon at Camp Golf. But why would the Chief manipulate the reports? I need you to take everything we found to Chief Hanlon and confront him with it. I don't want to make this public unless we have to. Bye. Okay. We will go tell Chief Hanlon what we found out, but we'll do all that next time. We've helped out Camp Forlorn Hope. Nelson is back in NCR hands. The Legion has been driven away from there. Also, we managed to get the reinforcements for Bitter Springs. And we're, right now what we're doing, we're helping out some communication mishap with the Rangers. Because seriously, trained death claws? That's a call back to either... Fallout 2, when Vault 13 was taken over by those hyper-intelligent death crawls, or call back to Fallout 3 when the Enclave, when they made their moves in the Capital Wasteland, they had mind control devices they put on death claws to use as ca cannon fodder. If you're enjoying this Let's Play series so far, please feel free to give this video a like and please sub subscribe if you haven't already. You can follow me on Twitter at SandyBFox. Tune in again next time for another exciting adventure of Mr. Jammy Bastard, the luckiest son of a bitch who's ever walked the Mojave Wasteland. Same Fallout time, same Fallout channel. Bye.